All right, please keep it going for your next comment. Give it up for Kim Hanna. Hey everybody, how you doing? So as you said, my name is Kim, or as some guys like to say, I am Kiyum. Yes, that's right, I am from Arkansas, so I'm a true Southern Belle. And not only am I from Arkansas, I'm from a place that's called Arkadelphia, Arkansas. <laughs> so I know what you're thinking, people come up to me all the time, they're like, hey Kiyum, is Arkadelphia like the Philadelphia of Arkansas? And I was like, Oh yeah, you know what it is. But instead of it being the city of brotherly love, it's actually the city of cousinly love. Man, I'm telling you, there's so much inbreeding in Arkansas that you can't even go on a first date without getting a blood test. And knowing me, I would go to family reunions and treat it pretty much like I treat speed dating. I'd walk up to a cousin and say, hey, you know, you're actually adopted, so maybe we can make this work. I don't know, I'm just saying. Well, so I didn't have the opportunity to date a cousin, but in college, I did have the pleasure of being the test subject for some of my boyfriends on their road to bisexuality. So I'm all about experimentation, but just not on my time. <laughs> Here's a tip, ladies. The third time your boyfriend come up to you and said, Oh, you know, I, I was out of town and me and that guy from choir, we just had to sleep in the same bed together. Uh, you might want to think about changing your relationship status. Might be a good time. All right, so about a year after college, in that year gap, I went to Syracuse to get my master's. But the year after that, I moved to LA in, with my sister. So you might be thinking I would have much better chance at finding a good guy out in LA. No such luck. There should be a welcome sign outside of LA and be like, welcome to Los Angeles. Be prepared to be asked out on dates by drug dealers and by men in their 50s. <laughs> and no joke, I did go out on a date with this one guy who had a nice polo shirt on, and all throughout the date, he was doing drug deals. So there's nothing more romantic than when a guy asks you, hey, can you step outside my Escalade so I can talk to my customer in private? All right, so, you know, uh, and this guy, it was the crazy thing is my sister actually knew him, did not know he was a drug dealer, was like, oh, he's such a great guy. It's like, good luck for, or good job for protecting me, big sis. Great, you're doing great advice. So, luckily for me, I like to date men of different races. And I was going out with this one guy for a while, but he couldn't even tell me what all his different ethnicities were. So I thought, wow, we could get married and have kids. And I'll tell my kids, hey kids, you're half black and something, something, something. I don't know what you are, you're something. <laughs> All right, so now that I'm in Maryland and I'm here doing a PhD program in communication, I actually started dating a guy who I met 12 years ago in Arkansas at this science summer camp. So he didn't like me very much when we first met but I won him over with my tales about the hard knock life, about life in Arkadelphia, and of course, with my curvy body. So, <laughs> all guys like that. So, uh, so, as I said, I'm here in the communication department. I study political satire and rhetoric, so fun stuff. And as a communication student, I like meeting all different types of people. It's funny that I meet a lot of locals who sound more Southern than I do. So. I was trying to get out of this South, and as you know, here in Maryland, we're just in one big swamp. So it's only a matter of time before the alligators come to get us. So watch out for that. And uh, before I started dating my boyfriend, I went out on dates with three different guys who were all from Minnesota. And it wasn't planned, it just happened. So uh, the funny thing about guys from Minnesota some of them, they'll try to sound all hard, like they grew up on the streets. And I'm like, uh, you know you were the captain of your high school hockey team, so yeah. Another funny thing about dating white guys is that sometimes they'll think, oh, you're a black girl, let's go do the blackest thing. We're gonna go see Django. I once, 
I once went out to see Precious. It was like, yeah, this is hot. We're going to see a story about a girl being abused by a mother. And I'm all like, hey, can we go to a Katy Perry concert? But no, none of that. <laughs> cool thing about my department is I've made some pretty cool friends. None of them could make it tonight. But <laughs> one of those friends, she moved here with her boyfriend. And they're here. We would go hang out together. And he told us about a time when he was a little kid. He was at his birthday party. And he was haunted by a ghost. Like, literally, there's a picture of him blowing out the candles on his cake, and in the background is a ghost just hanging out, holding a teddy bear. No one knows who this ghost is or anything. That got me to thinking, I'd be such a cool ghost. Like, people would invite me to all their parties, and I would go around doing ghost tricks, and of course I would be doing body possessions, but that's just a typical party for me anyway. <laughs> so I would always have to leave my, the parties early, and people would be like, oh, Kim, can't you stay any longer? And I'm like, oh, I got to go. I'm supposed to make a special appearance at the Palms Casino tonight, so I got to take off. So just think about it. Ghosts would come with their special entourages. And then the problem about clubs, if you would have rival ghosts, you have to watch out for ghost dance-offs on the floor. So that can get a little messy. <laughs> but my favorite place to haunt if I was a ghost would be country clubs. You're like, why would you haunt a country club? Hear me out. So I would go to the country club, just hanging around. Then I would end up on the green. So these old white men are golfing. And I come up to them and I say, boo! And they run away and say, ah, it's an angry black woman! Thanks, guys. That's my time. One more time for Kim Hanna, guys.